God, we thank you for the opportunity to come together, Lord, and just worship your holy name, Lord. That's what we were created to do, God. That's what we were created. Our, our literal existence is to ascribe worth to you, Jesus. And we just thank you, Lord, because out of everything you have created, God, you have given us the ability, ability, Lord. You have given us the desire, Lord, to seek after your presence, to run after your presence, God. Holy Spirit, be in this atmosphere. Just fill this atmosphere. Let everything that would hinder us, Lord, from worshiping in spirit and truth, God, let it run from your presence in the name of Jesus, God. Let our minds and our hearts and our eyes and our ears, Lord, just be attuned to your Godship, Jesus. God, we worship you, Lord. God, we praise you, Lord. Everyone who is joining us right now through this medium, wherever you are, I just invite you to just press into his presence. Just say, Jesus, you are welcome here. Father, you are welcome here. We want you, God. We need you, Lord. There's no one else like you. Everyone in this room, let's just worship him. Start worshiping him in one, in one voice. God, we worship you, Jesus. There is no one else like you, God. There is no one else like you. Who can measure to your awesomeness, Lord? Who can measure to your awesomeness, Jesus? From the north to the south, from the east to the west, all around this world, creation will worship you, Lord. Your word says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. God, we worship you, Lord. We exalt your holy name, Lord. For you are good, Jesus. For you are good, Jesus. There's no one else like you, God. Lord, there is no one else like you, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, we worship you, God. We exalt your holy name, God. God, as we press into your presence, Lord, as we step into your presence, Lord, would you meet us there, Lord? God, would you meet us there, God? God, you came from heaven to earth, God. You humbled yourself. You made yourself less than what you were, God, so that you could level with us, God, and you could meet us at the point of our needs, God, because you knew that we could never come up to the heavens, Lord, because of our iniquities, Lord, because of our shame, because of our, of our sin, God. So you, be, you came down, Lord, being God, Lord. You did not see it to... You did not see it as stealing, Lord, to be like God, but you humbled yourself and you became man so you could meet us, God. So that you could meet man, Lord. We thank you for that, Jesus. We worship your holy name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, thank you for making a way for us, Lord. Thank you for making a way for us, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Come on, everyone, wherever you are, just raise your hands. Raise your hands and just follow. As we lead you in worship, just press into him, God. Oh, God, we worship you, Lord. You made a way for me. Thank you, God. To enter the holy place. Thank you, Jesus. To the holy place, sing again, you made a way, you made a way for me, oh, you did, to enter the holy place, you made a way for me, to enter the holy place. Forever, 
Nos has prometido nunca desampararnos Dios Estaremos juntos por la eternidad Dios Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, sing it out, come on We'll be yeah. together forever We'll be together, we'll be together forever God, where could I go, Lord? Where can I hide from you, Jesus? God, I could climb the highest mountain, Lord, and you would still be there. God, I could go down to the valley below and I could not hide from you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. John chapter 20 records as follows. At this point, Jesus had resurrected himself. He had been resurrected by the Spirit of God. He had conquered death, and he was alive again. And a lot of people had seen Jesus at this point in the book of John. 50 people had seen him at one point. 500 people had seen him at a different point. But there was one person who had not seen him, and his name was Thomas, also called the twin. So at a point, the disciples were together in the upper room once again. And Thomas would not believe that they had seen Jesus. He was just like, it's impossible. I saw him die on the cross. I was there when they buried him and they rolled that stone into its place. That's not possible. I don't believe a word you're saying. This is what Thomas was saying to the disciples. This is what Thomas was saying to Peter, to, to all these people. He was like, I refuse to believe it. And the disciples were like, Thomas, you have to believe us. We saw him with our, faith, with, with our eyes. We saw him. We were able to talk to him. We broke bread with him. You have to believe us. And Thomas was like, I don't believe you. And you see, at this point, Jesus appears before the disciples. The Bible records that the door wasn't open, the windows weren't open, but Jesus appeared the only way Jesus could. And Jesus was like, Thomas, why do you, why do you doubt me? Jesus said, Thomas, you say with your mouth, the only way I will believe is if I put my hands on the wounds on his wrist or if I put my hand inside of, of, of his side. Why do you doubt when you are seeing what's right in front of you? At this point in John chapter 20, Jesus said, Blessed is he who does not see, yet believes. You see, God had an eternal plan for us. Jesus had an eternal plan for us. And that was that none should perish, but all should have everlasting life. And you see, in that moment where Doubting Thomas said, my God and my King, because he believed only because he put his hands on his wrist, only because he put his hands on his side. That was why uh, Doubting Thomas believed. But Jesus in that moment took that moment to see across the plane of time. Jesus saw across 2,000 years to where you, were, you are sitting today, my friend. And he said, blessed is he who does not see, yet believes. He was talking about you. He was talking about me. You see, with Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, he was making a promise, a promise that we could not hold on our own. So Jesus took it upon himself to make that promise, and he said, blessed is he who is not here right now present to see, but still believes. And because I believe, even though with my eyes I have not seen the physical glory of my God, I am blessed. And we are here tonight to express to you, to declare to you that you are not in this alone, brother and sister. 
If you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus is God, you are to be with him for the rest of my life. You see, in the moment where Jesus was on the cross, there was a person next to him who was a thief. And the thief believed in that moment when Jesus was dying on the cross. And the thief said, remember me when you enter into paradise, into your kingdom. And Jesus said, surely I tell you, you will be with me in paradise. It's a beautiful thing. It's a thing my finite mind cannot imagine, cannot grasp my mind around, but my heart knows that it's true because I have seen the glory of the Lord in my life. We belong to Jesus forever and ever. We hold on to that promise that we are with him for eternity once we put our faith in him. God, we believe in you, Lord. We believe what you have said because it has come to pass, Jesus. Your words are, and promises are true, Lord. Your promises are new each morning, God. God, you are not a son of a man or like a man to lie, Lord Jesus. But everything that comes out of your mouth is true, Lord. Because you have never given into the temptation of lies, lies, Lord. Because you are holy, Jesus. You are holy, God. God, we thank you, Jesus, because we are with you, Lord. God, we worship you in that same atmosphere, in that same spirit. Let's continue worshiping him. Let's continue worshiping his person. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love because you first loved us, God. We love because you first loved us, Jesus. Oh Jesus, we worship you, God. We worship you, God. We exalt your holy name, Jesus. You're still my first love. You're still our first love, God. You're still my first love. Oh, that you would return to that first love, says the Lord. You're still my first love. That you would Turn to that first love, says God. You're still my first love. Oh God, return us to that secret place, Jesus. Return us to that secret place, God. I adore you, Lord. You're still my first love. I adore you, Lord. My first love. Mi primer amor, Padre. You're still my first love. Eres mi primer amor, Dios. You're still my first love. Eres mi primer amor, Padre. You're still my first love. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. Thank you for the cross, I God. You know. You're still my first love. Thank you for the cross, Jesus. Oh, you're still my first love. Let's keep singing that. Oh, you're still my first love. There's no rushing from his presence. You're still my first love. Let's just love on the Lord. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. You are, you are. You're still my first love. I adore you, Lord. You're still my first love You're still my first love 
I adore you, Lord. You are the source of love, Lord. You're still my first love. God is love. There's no other love like you, Lord. You're still my first love. No other name but yours. You're still my first love. Yes, Jesus. You're still my first love. Yes, Jesus. Where could I go? You're still my first love. Yes, Jesus. You're still my first love. I can sit yes, here forever Jesus. and ever. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. I yes, adore you, Lord. You're still my first love. Still yes, my first Jesus. love. I wanna sit here and see you, Lord. You're still my first love. Yes, Jesus. I wanna declare your love for me because you're still my first love. Eres mi primer amor, oh, Dios. You're still my first love. Eres mi primer amor, Dios. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. Thank you, Jesus. I'm coming back to what matters most. You're still my first love. Thank you, Jesus. I turn the eyes of my heart to you. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. I'm coming back to what matters most. You're still my first love. Jesus, you are, you are, you're still my first love, <laughs> you're still my first love, oh, you're still my first love, not second, not third, not fourth, not last, you're still my first love. You're still my first love. Oh God, you have stolen my heart, Lord. You're still my first love. Enamorame de ti, Padre. You're still my first love. Enamorame de ti. You love. You're still my first love. Enamorame de ti, Dios. You're still my first love. Love has overcome death, hell, and the grave. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. You're still my first love. First love. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. You're still my first love. Come on, we're not going to rush from this moment. Come on, just for a little bit, we're going to let the music prophesy the goodness of God. We're going to let the music just sit and prophesy over you. The Lord is calling us back to his first love. To our first love, Jesus, you're calling us back to you, God. We just want to sit here and be with you, spend time with you, love you. We want to adore you. We want to fix our eyes upon you. We want to behold you, Jesus. That is what we're here for. Jesus. Come on, let's just pray in the spirit. Let's just let the music go. Let's let it flow. We are here for you, Lord. 
Oh, we love you, Lord. We're coming back to our first love. Let your presence fill this room. <laughs> Let your glory fill the room. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Let your love fill the room. Spirit of the living God. Let your beauty fill the room. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. I hear the Lord saying he's calling us to a new dimension. Yes, 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 he's yes, calling yes. us to a new realm of worship Thank right you, now. Jesus. Oh God, we receive Thank it. We receive you, you Jesus. We receive your beauty. Thank you, Jesus. We receive your beauty, oh God. All of this is for your glory, God. For your glory alone. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> May your presence manifest this Thank room. Thank you, Jesus. Let it manifest this room and let it echo throughout yes, all Jesus. of the nations. <laughs> let the sound yes, that's coming Jesus. from this room echo throughout all the nations. And let yes, the nations Jesus. behold Jesus. Jesus. I see in my spirit the throne room of God and seated on the throne was he who was righteous who was all powerful who was omni excuse me omnipotent and in front of the, of, the, of the throne of the Most High God, there is an area where the angels day and night sing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. But you see, until the due time, the great serpent, Satan, has been allotted a position a place before the throne of God where he comes and he accuses the, the, his people where he comes and he accuses the people of God and I see the great serpent Satan say don't you see the great serpent Satan says if you would allow them to me I would immediately turn them against you Satan says, if you would allow them to me, I would immediately turn them against you. And with the powerful, mighty roar of a thousand rivers, God says, no. You see, Satan is allotted a time before a, a place before the throne of God where he comes to accuse just like in Job he would come and accuse Job saying if you would take away from your man's servants he would curse your curse your name if you would hurt physically your man's servants he would curse your name but you see I see in the in in in, in, in the picture of my mind I see a spiritual door an invisible door be shut before Satan and Satan was not allowed to run back to that place of privilege that he had before God where he would accuse us and I see a third of the stars falling away 
with Satan down to earth. And Satan went and made war against God's chosen people. And there was hunger, and there was famine, and there was war. But the Bible says, if my people who are called upon my name, who are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek God and turn from the evil ways, then will I hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sins and heal their land. You see, there's a point where we acknowledge God and we say, God, we cannot fight against Satan ourselves. And God stands up. He stands from his throne room. And like with a mighty roar, because he is the Lion of Judah, he, he gathers his armies around him. He gathers his armies around him and he goes. And I see in the picture of my mind, he defeats the old serpent. There's going to come a time where the enemy is not going to be able to fight against us anymore. Because the God of angel armies continues to fight on our behalf. I don't know where you find yourself today, but God is your defender. God is the one who fights for you. Regardless of what demons you're battling every single day, regardless of what demons come against you every single day, I want you to know that the God of angel armies stands up and he fights for you. For the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord, says the God most high. The battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's. So you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear because he fights for you. He fights for you. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The battle is the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for fighting for us, God. Thank you for fighting for us, God. Oh God, the battle is yours, Lord. The battle is yours, God. Oh God, that you would stand up and that your enemies would be scattered, Jesus. That you would stand up, Lord, and that your enemies would be scattered, Lord, before you. Oh, Jesus. I see God's armies marching towards to win this fight. God, thank you, Lord. Oh 
thousand years outside of it, Lord. Let go. 
Come on, Abigail. The Spirit is speaking through you right now. Let him be God. Let him be God. Let him be God. Let him be God. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. And just let go. Let him be God. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Just let go and let him be God. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Just let go and let him be God. 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 Oh, you don't have to be afraid anymore. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Oh, just let him be God. Let him be God. He wants to be God in your life. He wants to be your father. Oh, he loves you. Oh, and he loves you. Just let him be God. It's in his nature to take it away from you, to take it away from you, just taking away from you. It's in his nature, cause he's a good father. Just let go, let go, let him be God, let him be God, let go, let go. Let him be God, let him be God, let go, let go, let him be God, let him be God, let go, let go, let him be God, let him be God, let go, let him be God, let him be God, let go, let go. Let him be God, let him be God, let go, let go, let him be God, let him 
We acknowledge you are the Father, an apostle, a great and high priest. This is you, Jesus. So we set our eyes on you. We set our eyes on you. We set our eyes on you. A heavenly thing. Set our eyes on you, King of Glory. We set our eyes on you, King of Glory. We set our eyes on you. We set our eyes on you. Set our eyes on you. Oh, we set our eyes on you. 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 Oh, we set our eyes on you. Oh, you're so beautiful, God. We set our eyes on you. Oh, we set our eyes on you. We set our on you oh, hold you Jesus we set our eyes on you oh, we set our eyes on you we look at nothing else cause we set our eyes on you The Bible says, if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart, we will be saved. Here at High Waves, we, we cherish the moment where we could share with people the love of God, not just through our, through our, our songwriting or, or our singing or our music playing. As, as Abigail was was, was singing um, Let Go. I saw a picture of my mind. So many of y'all watching this, wherever you may be, you see, we all stand at the edge of eternity. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon in power and dominion and authority. All authority on heaven and on earth and underneath the earth has been given to him. Because he took the keys of, keys of Hades and death. 
He brought liberty. He brought freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom from oppression. Freedom from anxiety. Freedom from depression. Anything you may be struggling with, there is freedom. And you stand at the edge of eternity. And you have two paths before you. Either you follow God or you don't. And with that comes eternal consequences. And I challenge you today to make a decision for Christ. The word of God says in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son. That whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So we cannot allow the opportunity to pass without giving you the opportunity to believe with your heart and confess with your mouth. So all across this room, wherever you may be seeing us on, on, on your phone, on, on, your, on your computer, on TV, whatever that may be, I invite you to surrender your all to God, to let go, let go of everything that would be hindering you from a true relationship with the Godhead because he loves you and he's prepared a place for you and he wants to walk with you. So I invite you to repeat after me. There is power in words. I invite you to repeat after me, believing in your heart once again and confessing with your mouth. Say, God, God, I love you. Jesus, I acknowledge that you came to this earth and you gave your life as a ransom for everyone. Knowing the consequences of dying on that cross and how hard that was going to be, you decided to do it because you loved me. God, Jesus, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are God and you died for my sins. I welcome you, Jesus, into my heart. Wipe away any iniquity, any sin in my heart and make me new again. Jesus, I promise to serve you all the days of my life until you come and take me with you. Jesus, thank you for that gift of salvation. And here at High Waves, we believe that you have, if you have believed in your heart and you've confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, then your name is written in the book of life. And that you get to spend eternity with Jesus in heaven. The angels rejoice with us now that you have been saved. And we rejoice with you as well. If you believed and you've prayed this prayer with me, I invite you that on our social media platforms, you drop your name and you say, I believed and I accepted Jesus into, our, into my heart. And we would love to connect with you. Wherever you may be, we want you to connect to a Bible-believing church so that you can live out the purpose. You see, you were made with a purpose. You weren't just made to just exist. God has a purpose for your life, and we want to see you live out that purpose. God, we thank you for this time together, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, that we are able, Father God, to share your love, Lord, not just in person, Jesus, but through these means of communications, God. God, I pray that as we depart from each other, Lord, that we would not depart from your presence, Lord. God, walk with us each and every day, Father God. And it is in your mighty and precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We love you. We extend a warm hug to you. We can't wait to connect with you. Go in the goodness of the Lord. God bless you.